Hello everyone, today we are going to analyze a three hinged parabolic arch. Before analyzing, let us see the question one time. A three hinged parabolic arch of span 20 meter has its crown 9 meter high from the left support and 4 meter high from the right support. The span of the arch is given that is 20 meter. The crown of the arch is 9 meter high from the left support and 4 meter high from the right support. The crown of the arch is at a horizontal distance from 12 meter from the left support and 8 meter from the right support. The crown of the arch is 12 meter from the left support and 8 meter from the right support. The arch is subjected to a uniformly distributed load of 24 kN per meter over a length of 12 meter from the right support. From the right support, this arch is carrying a UDL 24 kN per meter at a distance of 12 meter. In this question, we have to find the normal thrust, radial shear and bending moment at a distance of 4 meter from the right support. In this arch, we are having different levels in both of the supports, so it will be little difficult to analyze. We have to calculate the vertical reactions VA and VB, also the horizontal thrust H. For that, we can make two equations. First, we will take moment about C. From the point A, this will give us one equation. Again, we have to take moment about C from the right support B. This also will give us one equation. So, we will be having two equations. By solving these two equations, we can find all the reactions. First, I am going to take moment about C from the point A. We are taking moment about C because the moment will be zero at Z because it is hinged. When we take moment about C, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and clockwise will be negative. The vertical reaction VA is acting towards the point C in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is 12 meter. So, 12 VA. The UDL 24 kN per meter is acting towards the point C in the anti-clockwise direction. So, it will be negative. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. The distance is 4 meter. So, 4 into 4 by 2. The horizontal thrust is acting towards the point C in the anti-clockwise direction. So, it will be negative. For the horizontal thrust, we have to take the height 9 meter. So, minus h into 9. In this way, we can make one equation. Let us divide the equation by 12 because I wanted to keep VA alone. Now there is no value with VA. So it will be very easy for us when we solve two equations. Now let us take moment about C from the point B. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and the clockwise will be positive. The vertical reaction VB is acting towards the point C in the anti-clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is 8 meter, so 8 VB. The UDL 24 kN per meter is acting towards the point C in the clockwise direction, so it will be negative. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2, so 8 into 8 by 2. The horizontal thrust is acting towards the point C in the clockwise direction, so it will be negative, and the height is 4 meter, so minus H into 4, Finally, we are getting one equation. Let us keep the equation as number 2. From this arch, we can calculate the total load. In this arch, we are having only one load that is UDL 24 kN per meter. This 24 kN per meter is acting for a distance of 12 meter. So, the total load is equal to 24 into 12, we will get 288 kN. We know that the summation of upward forces is equal to the summation of downward forces. We are having two upward forces that is VA and VB. So VA plus VB is equal to 288 kN. We can take the VA on the right side. Finally, we are getting VB is equal to 288 minus VA. Now let us apply the value of VB in the equation number 2. 
this is the equation number 2. Instead of VB, we can apply 288 minus VA. After that, we can make some simplifications. Finally, we are getting this equation. Here also, with VA, we are having some value. So, we have to divide the value so that we can get VA alone. So, we are dividing the above equation by 8. When we do that, we are getting this. Right now, there is no value with VA. It will be very easy for us to solve. Let us keep this equation as number 3. Now, we are going to solve the equation number 1 and the equation number 3. We can add both of them. When we add VA minus VA, it will be 0. 0 0.75 plus 0 0.5, we will get 1.25. 16 minus 192, we will get minus 176. Finally, we are getting H is equal to 140.8 kN. We can apply the value of H in the equation number 1. When we apply, we are getting VA is equal to 121.6 kN. We already know VA plus VB is equal to 288 kN. We can apply the value of VA here. Finally, we are getting VB is equal to 166.4 kN. In this question, we have been asked to find out the bending moment at 4 meter from the right support. Here we may face some confusions because we are having two rises and two lengths. We have to see where the 4 meter comes. We have to calculate the bending moment at 4 meter from the right support. For the right side, the rise of the arch is 4 meter. On the right side, the length is 8 meter. But we need the total length. Here it will be 8 and here it will be 8. So 8 into 2, we will get a 16 meter. To calculate the bending moment at 4 meter, we need the height at 4 meter. We know the formula to calculate the height. Yx is equal to 4hx into L minus x by L square. We can apply the values. L is 16 meter, rise h is equal to 4 meter, x is 4 meter. Finally, we are getting 3 meter. Now let us calculate bending moment at 4 meter from the right side. We are going to calculate the bending moment at 4 meter from B. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative, anti clockwise will be positive. The vertical reaction 166.4 is acting towards the section in the anti clockwise direction. So it will be positive, and the distance is 4. So 166.4 into 4. The UDL is acting towards clockwise direction, so it will be negative. When the UDL comes, we have to take the distance and distance by 2. So, minus 24 into 4 into 2. The horizontal thrust is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be negative. And the height is 3 meter, we just calculated. Finally, we are getting 51.2 kN meter. Now, we are going to calculate the normal thrust and radial shear at 4 meter from the right side. To calculate the normal thrust and radial shear, we have to find the slope and the shear force. First, let us calculate the slope. The formula is here, tan inverse 4h by L square into L minus 2x. We can apply the values inside the formula. The rise h is equal to 4 meter. The length is 16 meter. The value of x is 4 meter. After applying in the formula, we are getting theta is equal to 26.56. Now, let us calculate the shear force. We are going to calculate the shear force from the point B. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Upwards will be negative, downwards will be positive. The vertical reaction in the point B is acting upwards, so it will be negative. The UDL is acting downwards, so it will be positive. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance to get the shear force. After adding these two values, we are getting minus 70.4 kN. Now let us calculate the normal thrust and radial shear. The formulas are here. We have already calculated the value of theta and shear force. We can apply both of the values in both of the formulas. Finally, we are getting normal thrust and radial shear. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.